Would I be the asshole for wanting to put my foot down with my girlfriend's strict parents? I'll try to keep this short because it's a lot and frankly I'm annoyed about it. I, 22F, have a girlfriend, 21F, that I've known for a year and have been dating for 8 months. We're currently long distance and I invited her to stay a couple days at my house in July. Had I known it would cause this gigantic shitstorm with her parents, I wouldn't have asked. Basically, I'm very anxious to fly on planes. I've never flown alone, and I know that if I was to fly alone I'd need some medication to help me sleep or else I'd have an anxiety attack. I also don't have a lot of personal money. My car got wrecked last month and I don't start working my new job until the end of this month. I also need to go an extra year to college before I graduate. Coupled together, I'd say all of that makes sense as to why I can't fly out to see her right now. However, her parents just do not get my situation and are going to kick her out of the house for seeing me. She'd live with her birth father for the rest of the summer. I even made a goddamn spreadsheet for them with hour by hour breakdowns of where we'll be, who we'll be with, and what we'll be doing since they're obviously scared about her flying out to see me. I also included the information I said above about my finances which was highly upsetting and anxiety inducing for me. To have these two people I never met here about how mentally ill and poor I am right now isn't exactly the greatest for my own mental health, either since they clearly don't get it. Despite this, her parents keep insisting that I zoom, FaceTime with them to verbally tell them the information I typed out. This is where I refuse. I will begrudgingly type it out any day, but due to my anxiety I would likely have a full-blown panic attack if we did this mostly because she has told me they would berate and ask me why, I'm so okay with causing their daughter so much pain. Why am I fine with making her cry, as if they aren't the ones who escalated this. They think she's flying out to meet me just for me to never go out to see her. Keep in mind I paid for one half of her ticket with the little money I do have. And I intend to fly out her way once I have time to save more money something I repeatedly have made clear. I just want to make sure I'm not being a raging asshole for refusing to do this. So many of my friends said the spreadsheet was a violation of my privacy already, and I feel like I need to put my foot down eventually. I don't feel like an adult, I feel like I'm 16 and it's starting to annoy me beyond belief. If I should just suck it up and do it though, I'd like advice on how because frankly I don't even want to see her parents based on how they've been treating me, her. So, WIBTA? Edit. I realized I left out some information since I was heated when I typed this. I'm a lesbian. We're both women. It's not homophobia since her parents are accepting, it's where I live that's the issues. Had my car not gotten wrecked, summer classes for college been a thing, I'd be fine flying out to see her but I just don't have the finances. Hence why I suggested she come here. I've spoken to her mom a few times via phone. We've gotten along well up until this point. In fact, I wanted to call her to explain the plan first but it quickly escalated and I quickly grew uncomfortable with the fact that she'd be berating me. I completely understand where her parents are coming from, but I just would like to have been treated with more respect in the situation. I'm 22, about to graduate, I'd be graduating this year if I planned better. And I want to do this as adults but I'm just not getting that same respect, understanding from them. I just came out of a semi-abusive relationship as well where my ex's parents a l significant other hated me, they were just homophobic, so I'm just tired, frankly. Wow. I can't imagine why her parents don't want her to fly states away to stay with someone they've never met whose mental illness is so severe that she can't handle a Zoom call, and too poor to afford a plane ticket. Dot. Nah. Her parents' concerns and request for a Zoom, FaceTime is completely reasonable, considering she's not even objecting to it. Not the asshole I don't think you're an asshole, but I can understand that they're concerned their daughter is flying to see you and they've never spoken to you. Edit here I don't think they've gone about addressing this concern in a healthy way at all, but just trying to help you understand their side more. Their motivation for the phone call might just be to meet you, make them more comfortable with her visiting. I don't think they're treating either of you like adults and I don't think they have good boundaries, but if you see a future in this relationship long term, I don't think calling them would be a bad idea. Not the asshole these people aren't protective, they're abusive and controlling. You've bent over backwards for them already. You owe them nothing. What they're doing is an attempt at emotional blackmail. Nah. Her parents have rules and anxieties too. However, your girlfriend is allowing this controlling behavior from her parents and you will most likely not be able to change that. So it's your decision to play their silly little games if you want her to come visit. Hmm. There's a lot here to unpack about what's happening. 
I feel like to answer the essence of your question is not the asshole for not allowing yourself to be berated in such a way by your GF's parents. You obviously have no place to dictate what their rules for their daughter is and quite frankly when you're in a relationship w someone you're not just in a relationship with said person but their family as well. I do understand you're not necessarily at the age to think this way but it's an undeniable part of what's going on here I think you'll have to address at what point you might be forcing it to the extent you may be the asshole in other ways. Info have the peremt ever met op or had a conversation with him face to face or over FaceTime. Not the asshole because you've already gone above and beyond. This is the point where you stop communicating with the parents because this isn't about you. This is about controlling their daughter's life. Your girlfriend either comes or she doesn't. The decision is hers. If she can't put her foot down and insist that she has the right to make her own decisions, you're probably going to be dealing with this kind of crap for the remainder of your relationship. Better to find out now than later. Info. Have you always been long distance or would you be meeting in person for the first time? Have her parents ever met you? Do you live independently or also at home with parents? Am I the asshole for wanting my birthday party to be vegan? I've been vegan for four years, vegetarian and dairy-free before then idk how long. I'm turning 18 soonish and my parents wanted to know what my plans are. I said I don't really celebrate so I haven't thought about it, true. Our families don't really do birthdays. But I asked for a gift would they put some money toward driving lessons and maybe can I have some friends over. I just want to say that I'm not a pushy, angry vegan my friends only know because I told them when we were getting food together. I actually go out of my way to not bring it up so no one calls me that. But, I don't want any extra animal products bought to feed people at my little gathering, probably five people myself included, because I'm not really comfortable with money being spent on something I'm ethically opposed to, for my birthday. IDK if I'm making sense there but that's my thought process. The food wouldn't be, too vegan, or anything, just normal things like marshmallows, chocolate and strawberries to toast, drinks etc. It's just a little gathering in my garden and I don't think my friends would really care, one is vegetarian anyway. So I told my parents what I want to do and they said that it's not fair on anyone, it's selfish but that I could have a vegan cake but that's it. I said it's my birthday, shouldn't I be able to at least nibble on all the food there? If it's not vegan then I can't, they said it's a choice to be vegan, is it not a choice to be omni? And that I can't really expect everyone to bend to my whim all the time that it's one day and can I not just lighten up and stop being so miserable with my diet. I said no lol if it's only one day then why can't you just eat vegan. I think this is so silly but they're dragging their heels, I'm selfish and inconsiderate for wanting a vegan friendly party for my 18th. Edit to add. We're low income and my parents give me the money they get from the gov for having me to use for clothes, school stuff, pocket money if I want or need something I get it myself, except for food and most toiletries which they pay for. This party is something I'd paid myself since it isn't a necessity idk if that affects anything lol. ETA again, the marshmallows and chocolate I'll be supplying are vegan please stop acting as if I've been consuming non-vegan chocolate and marshmallows for 7 years, I know what they're made of omfg. Edit again, so many people are acting like I'm forcing a carrot stick down my unwilling carnivorous friend's throats, I'm really not. Promise crying face. They're fine with vegan food and probably wouldn't notice since who tf declares fruit, crisps etc are vegan. Literally no one assumes they wouldn't be unless they have a reason to haha. -ha. It's just my parents please stop bashing my friends. Edit again again again. This subreddit is full of nuts. Apparently me being morally opposed to fucking animal exploitation is akin to meat eaters being morally opposed to having their bodily autonomy dictated. When I just ask they put aside the bacon for a single afternoon, get in the real world guys. Not the asshole, Oreos are vegan, everyone love Oreos, buy Oreos lol. If your parents won't budge then tell them you only want to have fruit at the party, not cause it's vegan but because you and your friends like fruit. ETA. Also your thought process makes complete sense. I am the cause of this event, I am ethically opposed to non-vegan food. Ergo the event I am causing to happen will only contain vegan food. That's logic 101 right there. Not the asshole. It is your birthday. WTF. Also vegan food can be hella delicious. The vegan food at my cousin's wedding is still the best food I have ever had at a family gathering. Lol not the asshole. Yes, you can't expect others to always bend to your wants, but your birthday, especially your 18th birthday, is the one day you can ask people to put you first and not be too much. Not the asshole. FFS Omni folks eat vegan food all the time. 
chips, salsa, guac, crackers, jam, veggie platters with hummus, etc. It's your birthday and you should absolutely be able to serve the foods you want for your gathering. Sorry your folks don't support your decision. Not the asshole. It's a gathering for one day, not a lifestyle change imposed on the guests. They can deal with it. The menu should focus on what you want. Not the asshole. It's your party, you can choose the food. Also, is it really that terrible for non-vegans to eat vegan food at an event? It's not like it's a very odd cuisine that most people can't stomach. It's just vegan, I don't see the problem. Not the asshole it's your birthday. You have a right to decide how you want it celebrated. And dear God it's not like you're telling them to change their whole lives. It's just a few hours for a party. Also do be safe celebrating, and happy birthday in advance. Not the asshole, but maybe take over the food instead of having your parents buy it and prepare it. I mean, they can't be that bad. You've been able to live vegan since 14, and vegetarian before that which means they have been accommodating your diet for years, and would have had to be a somewhat supportive. Am I the asshole for yelling when my mom told people I had a miscarriage? My mom, 52F, and I, 27F, have had a rocky relationship for years, I stopped confiding in her in my teens because she'd listen to me, and then she'd use whatever I had said against me. I suffered a miscarriage in March, I am slowly coming to terms with it but I'm still very sad about it. My husband, 28M, and I decided to share the news of the miscarriage with my mom because I was having a hard time processing it alone. Nobody knew we were even trying so it was a big step for us, as we're very private people. And hash x200b. When I told my mom, I asked her not to tell anyone, as it is a very sensitive subject for us and I didn't want people to give us crap like, it's all God's plan, it was early anyway, it might have been handicapped, and such. Recently, my cousins asked my mom if we were planning on having kids, she didn't mention the miscarriage and changed the subject. When she told me, I reiterated that I didn't want people to know. Then, we went to my aunt and uncle's house and my uncle kept on asking when we were going to have kids, we didn't say anything. And hash x200b. We went to my mom's house for Mother's Day, and my mom mentioned that her brother had asked again when we were going to have kids, and she had told him about the miscarriage so he would stop asking. Even my best friends don't know about the miscarriage, my husband and I carefully chose who we decided to tell. And hash x200b. My mom claimed that she, did what she thought was best, and only half-assed apologized to me when my brother, 22m, sided with me and demanded she did. She later said, sorry, to my husband and that was it. And hash x200b. I decided to stay for lunch because it was Mother's Day but I was not my usual self. We played games and my mom wanted to play with me. I was not in the mood but I ended up saying yes. She was trying to cheat. These were board games we play almost every Sunday. She knows the rules. She just makes us repeat them every time and then acts surprised when she is called out. And hash x200b. I was getting angrier and angrier and I did yell at her and call her an idiot a few times. In my family, we're all pretty curt with one another and you'll hear us playfully, insult, each other, but this was more than usual. And hash x200b. We finished the game and left two hours earlier than we normally do. And hash x200b. My brother and my husband agree that she shouldn't have told people about the miscarriage, and they're used to us talking to each other this way. My grandma sided with my mom saying that she didn't think telling my aunt and uncle, her son, would be such a big deal. And hash x200b. I do wonder if I was right to speak to my mom this way. I'm not sure I'd have normally reacted this badly. The baby I lost would have been my first child and it pains me that no one sees me as a mother. Celebrating Mother's Day was just another reminder that I am not one. I feel like all of my anger was directed at my mom and that's not really fair. I believe that she thought she was doing the right thing so my uncle would stop badgering us. What do you think? Not the asshole that is sensitive information that your mother had no right to tell. Not the asshole. Not her trauma, miscarriage not her place to tell people. You asked and imposed a reasonable boundary she crossed it and tried to rug sweep it. She gave a half-assed apology when forced to. She's ta. Not you. Not the asshole also it is none of your relatives business when or if you have children. It amazes me that people somehow think they are entitled to this kind of private information. My condolences on your loss. You need to go speak to an actual therapist to help you process your feelings. A professional will keep your secrets and not care if your nosy damn cousins, or aunt and uncle thinks it's time you have children and when are you going to. Wow. What nosy people. 
Gray rock your mom, and your nosy kin. I know you love your mom, but she doesn't need to know your personal details. When you are ready to post your stuff on Facebook or whatever for the whole world to know that is when you should tell your mama anything. I am sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Mom was in the wrong but I feel like the true asshole is your uncle for not just dropping the subject. Not the asshole. You asked her not to talk about an extremely sensitive topic and she did because she thinks she knows better. The disregard for your wishes is so hurtful, and she's not truly sorry. Dot. I suppose you could have calmly explained, but anyone would be hurt and angry over that kind of broken trust. And on Mother's Day, that's just heartbreaking. I'm so sorry, op. Not the asshole. Your mother should have respected your wishes, and not told anyone. Not the asshole. It wasn't your mother's information to share and your family needs to back off. I'm very sorry for your loss. Am I the asshole for telling my sill no cares that she's pregnant? I'm on mobile and my grammar will probably be bad because after today I needed to, to get drunk. Backstory my cousin, 33 female, who I'll call Mary lost her husband, 32 male, and two of her three children, three female, and, nine malleants male, in a car accident last week. Her and her daughter, five, are as you would expect it's just heartbreaking. Well today was the funeral my brother's wife, 26, announced her pregnancy the second they arrived at our house this morning we were like, okay congratulations but please keep it on the down low for today. Well when we arrived at the church she kept making gagging sounds and robbing her stomach saying, I as a mom can't imagine what she is going through, they have no kids so people would look at her and she'd tell them she was pregnant. Afterwards at my aunt's house my sill kept making everything about her like someone's in the bathroom sill would loudly say, pregnant lady needs to pee. She literally told my cousin's sister give her, her seat so, the lady with a baby could rest her feet. I ignored her till she came to Mary stuck out her flat belly and said, me and Isaac just found out I was pregnant and honestly we are beside ourselves it could happen to us, Mary broke down. I snapped like who says that to a woman who just literally lost two babies. I said loudly to my sill, no gives a fuck you're pregnant look around it's not just one but two babies funerals not to mention the love of Mary's life like I knew you were an attention seeker but for fuck's sake you took the test four days ago just leave. She left did in tears and my bother called me a fat bitter bitch. I've gotten phone calls for my bother and sill family calling me the world of name because I made a pregnant woman cry. If I'm being honest even though Mary and my aunt thanked me because it was all making her upset I feel worse about making a scene. Please put me in my place if I'm wrong. So little update I found out this morning brother and Sil harassed my cousin with phone calls for her to talk to me about yesterday. My aunt gave both of them an ear full then made my cousin turned off her phone my brother and Sil were at my parents house trying to get their side in. Parents are on my side, when I arrive. They both came at me screaming and yelling about Sil feelings and she could miscarry from the stress I caused her again I told them a funeral especially one for two children isn't the time to announce a pregnancy and get the fuck out of my face. Sil said if I didn't lose my attitude and apologize I'd never be in their child's life. I told her I didn't care and if she was gonna use the kid as weapon I didn't want to be in its life things got heated and my father ended up kicking out my brother and Sil so yeah all this drama at a time we should be there for one another. And to the people asking in the comments and DMS you can use this story I want my bother to find it and read the comments. This is one of those where I read the title and went, I can't imagine how you could not be the asshole, and then read the post and went, oh. Not the asshole. I am not normally a scene making person, but this is the kind of thing that making a scene is for. I am not normally one for publicly shaming someone but this is what public shame is for. Sometimes someone's behavior is so far beyond the pale that the kindest and most righteous act for everyone else involved is to make a goddamn scene. Which you did. I'm so glad you were there to stand up for your cousin. Your poor cousin, your poor cousin's daughter. Reading this made me feel just absolutely sick for them. I'll be lighting a candle for them, and the rest of your family, today. Not the asshole. Things like that aren't things you regret saying, they're things you'd regret not saying. It sounds like your family is going through a really hard time. Your sill was being insensitive and behaving poorly. Under the circumstances, you can absolutely forgive yourself for losing your temper. Your cousin must have been distraught. Not the asshole. Your sill is literally the worst. Not the asshole x1000 and I hope Mary is being checked on because that is literally heart-wrenching. I'm 15w pregnant and that would be literally the last place I would ever announce my pregnancy. I would try to avoid that conversation as much as humanly possible just for respect. 
And the fact that it's not just a normal funeral. A fucking triple awful funeral. Wow. I am speechless. My absolute best to your cousin and her daughter. And to you. What a dreadful thing to happen. Internet Rondo here will try to pass on good vibes. Not the asshole. Your sill was so disgustingly out of line. I would honestly go and see with her and your brother. That behavior was the most horrendous thing I've read and this is Reddit. Not the asshole. She's a monster. Did your brother say anything to her? I cannot find any mitigating circumstances for how your sill behaved and I'm really good at being able to see multiple sides to any situation. I'm frankly appalled. Her behavior would have been obnoxious if the gathering had been a family birthday brunch. That it was a funeral, for multiple people including underscore babies underscore, made it shocking. Not the asshole. Someone needed to shut her down. Sorry it had to be you. Can you call her back to make her cry again? Not the asshole. 